Brookings has a new baseball sculpture, and Kelloland's Ariana Schumacher takes us to the ball field for a closer look. Good morning, Ariana. Good morning, Lauren. Play Ball is an art edition that was completed last month in the newly renovated Bob Sheldon Field in Brookings. It's a project that's been in the works for the past two years. Players and fans are now greeted with this 24-foot-tall bouncing baseball sculpture created by California artists Jennifer Madden and Jeff Reed. They worked on this project in California and then had to transport the pieces to Brookings to assemble the work of art. It's integral to the whole design, really. You have to think from the very beginning about how um, you, you can take things apart, the size of things, where you can break them. And what people want in their art is to feel a sense of awe, a kind of discovery. And so being able to hide how something was put together and have the details of construction not blow the magic of the piece is important. They took into account every, um, every nuance of the South Dakota weather. They thought of everything, so they actually made the job pretty easy for us. Not only is this sculpture amazing to look at, it's also an interactive form of art. The glove serves as a place where kids can play and climb, as well as take their group photos. The glove is meant to be a place for seating. Uh, it's, it's put at the height, at the, the front of the glove is at 18 inches or thereabouts, um, so that you know parents and kids can wait there. It's also meant to climb on, and uh, there's uh, padded uh, artificial turf all around the glove so that kids can jump off of it and not get hurt. They hope this sculpture brings the community together to appreciate everything it has to offer. It, we wanted to use this uh, sculpture not only as a beautiful um, piece that pulls you into the space but also use it as a community engagement space. So like I said we, we really hope that Brookings Baseball uses this for their team photos every year and that families get out and sit on it, get a selfie. I think that's the kind of thing that we love to see happen in our in a, in our work in a local environment is seeing what how we can potentially echo you know elements of the of this town's identity. An impressive piece of artwork during the day, but what does it look like at night? Well, there's actually hundreds of LED lights throughout the sculpture, making it kind of. They go off at different times, make it look like a little bounce in the ball. It's actually oh, pretty nice. neat. Checked it out the other night. Ah, very good. That's awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Ariana.